It's 5 a.m., 5.08 here, Washington State. I'm Susan. How's everyone doing this morning? Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I'm Susan. Who already knows who I am? We're doing skincare. Actually, we can talk about anything you guys want. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. here. It's my first 5 a.m. Uh, morning. I am an early bird, though. Okay, you guys, if you hold down the screen, you can share it out to your friends here. I'll give it, let people know I'm on. How's everyone doing today? I haven't washed my face yet. Actually, I'm kind of warm. I usually put tank tops on. I'm going to open my door here. You guys, it's so rainy. It's our typical Washington state here. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing this morning? Start tapping the screen. I'm Susan. I'm 43. Um, what? Into natural remedies. I have a few accounts. I've been through the gamut. This morning, I'm going to do, I've been doing my skincare on here, which has been great. Um, these freaking, these freaking turmeric uh, face wash pads. Do people know about these? They're amazing. They're like TikTok exclusive. I'm already dropping things. That's all right. It's going to be a morning. How is everyone doing this morning? I thought I would just start answering questions that I have on my comments from the night before. You guys, I'm gonna put up some hearts on the screen and you're gonna see, oh, thank you so much for the rose. Good morning. I'm Susan, 43, we're talking natural remedies. I'm gonna answer questions that I have from my, um, I have three accounts, so I have lots of like comments in my comment section about natural remedies. Um, yeah, it's Washington State, I'm in Washington State, and yes, it is still dark. Here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like outside. So that's my bird set up, but it's pretty quiet right now. It's pretty rainy. <laughs> oh, you're in Oregon. Okay, yeah, so same idea, right? Okay, let me flip you back around here. <laughs> yeah, so Washington State, I, uh, yeah, 43, doing natural remedies, natural skincare. If you guys follow me, if you click on my, the triple hearts that came, oh yeah, same time zone. Yeah, I, the funny thing is, whenever I jump on here, oh, you're in Poland, freaking love it. Wait, where's... I'm in sorrow. Why do I, I, I don't even know where that's at. Time, yeah, so yeah, it's like 5.11 here, but I feel like so many people that jump on my lives are usually like three hours ahead of me, so I'm like, and I'm an early bird. I have morning energy. So you guys, make sure that you are also following my Castor Oil Things account, which is gonna come up right there with those triple hearts, just because I, that's where I like my products are that I can actually talk about. So if I talk about something you're interested in, you can go to that account too. Okay, oh, you're in Spokane, hi! I feel like I have a hair on my nose. Okay, let's start answering comments that I got from the night before, and then we'll do some skincare. Okay, Castor Oil Things account. So you guys, on this Castor Oil Things account that I have my hearts I just put up, it's specifically for Castor Oil, but I don't know if you guys have been following me for wrong. Ear ringing, Nana, I'm on it. Does I say Nana? Um, Perfect little segue there, Nana, thank you. So I made an account specifically for castor oil, but then all my videos started getting taken down, unfortunately. So when you start doing natural remedies, I think, you know, a lot of people know when you start, when you start talking about things that make sense, people, and they can't make money off you, then they start taking your videos down. So anyways, ringing in the ear, so many people. So if you go to my castor oil account, there's only a few videos on there, like maybe 10, and there's a couple specifically about the ringing in the ear. Now I've gotten three or four videos taken down where I literally show you and explain more. So anyways, if you have ringing in the ear, so many people are finding success by just massaging castor oil around the ear and even doing a soaked organic cotton ball inside the eardrum. You guys, a soaked organic cotton ball is good for anything. I mean, cysts, I mean, you can do, um, mix it a little bit with cayenne pepper to get, get rid of moles. I mean, there's so many things. Okay, so this person, okay, let me find my comments here. This person asks, hi there, can you explain Oh, can you please link the video explaining to start slow with the castor oil? Okay, so this person, um, turn my volume down. When you start castor oil, you definitely want to ease your way into it. So many people will complain of like detox symptoms, even if you're using it like for your sinuses or doing like a liver pack or rubbing it in your belly button. So it's super important to ease your way into castor oil. There... She says linked. Okay, just me link it. Um, let's see. If you go to my profile, it's one of my first videos on there. Exclamation point. On my big account, on the Susan Doing Susan Things account, I have so many videos that I could never say that. I'd actually have to go find it. But the nice thing about my Castor Oil Things account, there's only like a few 
you know, good videos on there. And so many that it got taken down. Bummer. Okay, then someone said, that's the best. It's a whole bunch of stars. So I'm going to give them a heart. You know, I, I reply to all my comments, even the negative ones. Um, but every time you reply to your comment, it like pushes out the um, algorithm. Okay, spider veins and varicose veins. You guys, I've had six varicose vein surgeries and I still have a varicose vein right here and a spider vein right here. What I've learned about varicose veins, spider veins, hemorrhoids, um, even if you get procedures done on them, they might probably potentially come back. I've had so many surgeries on my varicose veins and not a single person until I discovered it myself told me that they will probably just come back. I'm also a retired hairstylist, so it depends on your lifestyle. But I, you guys, it's so funny. I'm, I'm only five foot three and it's pretty short when you're a hairstylist and I would lean like, you know, hairstylists or dental hygienists or people who have like wonky jobs who have to like lean weird. I worked on cement for a while. So anyways, varicose veins were just kind of inevitable, plus they're hereditary. So anyways, oh, but I was like, why was I talking about that? But castor oil can absolutely help with the appearance. I mean, people are getting like major relief, like doing, and I even have videos doing like, um, a, like a castor oil pack on my varicose vein. I definitely can help with pain, inflammation. You know, castor oil can even help with pain and inflammation if you have a hernia. Um, I, people, literally you guys, people have told me they've gotten rid of their hernias. Thank you so much for the hearts. You guys, if you tap on the screen, it, it just helps. I mean, if you're just sitting there not doing anything, just start tapping, like tap on my forehead, tap on my shiny forehead. And if you tap enough, the heart up here will fill up and then confetti will rain down. It's exciting. I like it, but also it just helps push out the algorithm. Um, okay. So anyway, so for spider veins and varicose veins, actually I should probably tell her that, um, Castor oil can definitely help with the pain and inflammation associated, exclamation point. And some people are even finding major success. Was that a good comment? Does that make sense? Because there's no reason not to try, like especially if you have pain associated. Like you guys, <laughs> when I was pregnant, <clears throat> I would come, maybe I wasn't even pregnant, it doesn't matter. When I would come home from work and I'd work on the cement floors um, in this one particular salon and I would come home and have, my, I'd be on the couch and my legs up the back of the couch just to relieve that pressure. My first big vein I had was like over my knee and that, that did happen through pregnancies, you know, because varicose veins can be, her well, they are hereditary, but they can also happen from like, you know, weight gain and just, and this, well, pain, like just all that heavy, look at that, I'm just, can you feel it? Can you feel my, if you've had varicose veins, you can feel the pressure. So my first ones I had though, my doctor was like, are they painful? Are they itchy? Cause I wanted my insurance to cover them. And my first varicose veins were just ugly. Um, the, especially this one above my knee, it just was grrr, above my knee. So I had those taken out. Well, again, again, no one said to me, Hey, they're probably just going to come back. I mean, the blood has to go somewhere. I have inadequate veins anyways. Um, I am very glad I had the surgeries done, both for vanity and because the ones, I just remember this leg throbbing. And I, oh, I remember I had one right on my shin that itched. Did any, has anyone else experienced varicose veins? I mean, anyways, it's just, I'm 43, but I did, I think just with my profession, I just had them early on in life. I even have advi ad advanced arthritis in my thumb. No pain though, you guys. It's, Castor oil again, well, acupuncture I'm a huge fan of, but um, if you have any arthritis in your body, ca re uh, massage castor oil into that area. Pain, inflammation, and it helps speed up recovery. Both my boys, eventually I'll get to my, um, to my comment section. You know, whenever I jump on these lives, I think I'm not gonna have anything to talk about. Don't think we have a problem with that, Spanky. That's my nickname, by the way. My entire family still calls me Spanky or the Spank. Best nickname ever. Oh God, I hope TikTok doesn't get mad at me for saying that. Um, what was I talking about? Varicose veins, spider veins. Oh, so you guys, you might have to help me get back on track. Okay, this one says, been buying only uh, cold press hexane free in glass bottles, but found one in plastic bottle and there were thousands of reviews saying it's so good. So I'll try that. Um, maybe it's not as bad as we think they say. Um, so you want to keep your oils and potions and lotions. You always want to keep them stored in a glass bottle. So like this person says, you know, this castor oil is great. It comes in a plastic bottle. Oh, I, there's no doubt in my mind. It's fantastic castor oil, right? But what I would do is I would just go ahead and switch that castor oil into a glass bottle because over time plastic will break down. I don't care how hard it is. And I don't necessarily think it's the castor oil breaking down the plastic, but I do think that plastic could just potentially um, break down and then that will get into your castor oil. 
So that's, that's why I'm such a brat about make sure it's organic, make sure it's in a glass bottle. Can child apply castor oil on their body? You know what? Um, Ashley, I don't know if I can say her name. Um, I, you know, of course, children, I, my kid, that's what I was going to say. My son, my older son and my husband both have castor oil wrapped on them. My son has a jammed thumb and my hus uh, husband hurt his calf. Now, if, for children, depending on what you're using it for, right? But yes, I definitely would. Um, but depending on what you're using it for, like let's say it's a small little psoriasis spot. Oh yeah, load it right on there. Castor oil, little lavender, no problem. Um, if you're dealing with like, let's say constipation with a child, I would totally, totally dilute it with coconut oil or jojoba oil and then just do maybe a little bit under their belly button. Just start really, really slow. Hopefully our children don't, you know, especially if they're super young, they don't have all these toxins and poisons built up in their body. So hopefully they won't have these terrible flu-like detox symptoms. Um, any help for fungal acne? So that's fine. I mean, not funny. I feel so bad for you. I have someone, so I'm Susan, I'm 43. I have date, dealt with um, acne and almost cystic acne my entire life. Like I've worked with the same esthetician for 20 some years. I think she's saved me from the cystic, the pockmark adult acne that my whole family had. Um, I don't, I, I've never, it's so funny, all my years of acne, I've never actually heard of it called like specifically fungal acne. However, um, all, everything that I, that I do for my skin, like all the oils, castor oil, coconut oil, rosehip oil, prickly pear, all of them, almost all of them have an antifungal, antibacterial property. So like coconut oil, I know for sure does. Um, you know, and when I start, I'll talk about my like other oils in a little bit, but it's so funny how so many oils have, like I would totally use, start with coconut oil um, and even use it at night. I mean, I, it's so funny how I normally would say castor oil, but castor oil is, it's just so thick. It's, it's a little bit harder to work with. Um, coconut oil, you know, make sure it meets all the top requirements, but you can get it at, you know, any grocery store. I get a big old tub of coconut oil from, from Costco. Um, so any, when, I th when I'm thinking fungal, I'm thinking, yeah, you need some antibacterial, any stuff like that, right? Um, I was using the, I was using by always castor oil, but that made it worse because it's occlusive. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. I'm so sorry, but yeah, and, and some, yeah, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, okay, so I need to. Ta -da 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 -da. Okay, plastic will break down over time, regardless of what is inside period i would just switch it to a glass bottle as soon as you can with two thumbs up emojis i know that's the thing two people will say to me like what's the best castor oil or blah 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 it's the best and i'm like well i really don't think there is a best i think there's a lot of great companies out there making high quality castor oils making high quality black seed oils like there's there's great quality companies out there that are making things um but you know so just picking the one that's right that's right for you right um, I have floaters that are crazy. They drive me crazy. When I go outside, what brand do you recommend? Blah, blah, blah. Isn't it linked in the video? Fuck. Oh, please, dear Lord, don't let my account be restricted. Please, dear Lord, don't let my account be restricted. Okay. Okay, sorry, you guys. I was having so many issues with my cats. Actually, you know what's so crazy? It made me like my fight or flight go off a little bit this morning. My, this Susan doing Susan Things account, I woke up to like, I've, I lost 300 followers. I've, I've not lost followers. I've been super lucky. Like I wake up every morning to, well, it used to be I'd wake up to a hundred, but I haven't been really active on this account. And it's then I woke up, I was like at 198.8 and then I woke up to 198.5. So that, and then I looked to see if I'd lost followers and I hadn't. So anyway, sorry, that was just random. But, um, you know, TikTok is just really keeps me on my toes. It makes me very stressful. It's very stressful. Okay, here we go. Um, now, why is this not, it should be linked in this freaking video. I don't know why it's not. Oh, it's, okay. Do you see the orange shopping cart in this video, question mark? The brand is linked in there. I also have it in my showcase if you go to my profile. That the reason why I keep, I am writing, like putting my hearts on there so you guys can follow my castor oil things account is because I literally have everything in that showcase. So even if you don't get anything from me, at least you can visually see the ones I'm talking about, right? Um, okay, and you guys, thank you so much for making sure you're following me. Make sure you are uh, follow my castor oil account, liking the screen, um, blah, 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 blah. I swear castor oil saved my hair from breaking off, allowing me to grow long hair, amazing stuff. What a great comment. 
Such an awesome comment, exclamation point. How did you use it, question mark? I wonder if this person, so you guys, if you take castor oil and just massage it into the areas that you're trying to regrow hair, even eyebrows and lashes, it really can help a lot. And you can also put it in your ends of your hair to help with strengthening it. You guys, little fun fact, not very fun. I ate pretty shitty this weekend and my, I used to deal with the worst night sweats of my life. My hair right now is literally wet from night sweats. I had ice cream, cookies, Cinco de Mayo, I mean, I, and then I was so tired. I'd stayed up super late Saturday night because my son was at homecoming. I wasn't sure if he was going to drive. You know how it is, right? 18. Um, he didn't drive. He stayed the night, but I was up super late, like literally vacuuming at like 1030 at night because I just was kind of anxious. Um, and then last, so last night I literally ate this huge ass meal and I went to bed at 730. You could, I went through two shirts too. I mean, so anyways, right now my hair is so I'm so sorry. I told you all that. Does anyone deal with night sweats? I'm not really getting a lot of action. So you're just going to have to deal with my stories, but you know what saved me my night sweats, you guys? Well, first of all, not eating three hours before bed. That's what's huge. I used to like take food to bed with me. Um, but then also, um, I finally got my, does, Oh, does anyone use wild yam cream for balancing hormones? You but night sweats? So annoying. Night sweats are the fucking worst, right? Sorry. I'm sorry for swearing. Does anyone watch, does anyone have kids? And does anyone watch sketch? It's like, what's up brother sorry let's cringe out my children but it's their fault they watch these funny things oh my gosh wild yam cream has saved my life it's such a good, it's so good for balancing hormones so i'm 43 perimenopausal but the night sweats i've been dealing with for like 20 years like no 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 shit but mine were kind of self-induced night sweats binge eating at night and then metabolizing at night such common sense but not for me apparently so the um wild yam cream you just literally like, so this one's from the ripple effect and I have it in my, um, I have it in my showcase in my castor oil things account. Please look into wild yam cream. Doesn't matter what age you are and men can, um, can really benefit from a wild yam cream. So wild yams, it's like nature's estrogen and, and progesterone and it like, um, wild yam cream did nothing for me. Oh, how long did you use it for? I noticed results. So I was starting to get hormonal migraines plus the, I still, I always kind of struggled with that hormonal cystic acne uh, on my chin. I started using this within one month, my migraines were gone, and then my acne wasn't as bad. And I can always tell if I forget it. The only time you don't wanna use wild yam cream is when you're on your period or when you're menstruating. And so, um, like there's been times I've forgotten to use it up again and I can totally notice. The other thing I was, and I love how you can, when you, instead of taking things topically, absorbing things through your body, game changer, especially magnesium. Does anyone else use like magnesium spray for like sleeping at night and for under their arms? Because my mom, so here I'm this natural remedies hippie. Like I want to heal the world. My parents, they go to the doctor, they're into their pharmaceuticals. My sister has the permanent hearing loss. You know, she's not rubbing castor oil around. So I've been in this kind of bubble of three months uh, still wait for results 52 and put yeah dang it which kind are you getting um i'm sure you have a high quality organic kind right and i guess you know what and that's the thing is it doesn't work for everyone but care is it carol carol ann have you done magnesium spray has anyone else done magnesium spray not only for sleep quality my mom legit has a pharmaceutical sleep aid kill me sorry should said that tt just kidding she is like shocked by the results and it makes me so happy because I don't want her to take pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals, every single pharmaceutical is a band-aid, right? Every single one. There's not a single pharmaceutical that is helping us get to the root cause of our problems. Things like what, um, like the magnesium spray or like the wild yam cream, it is because we're a deficient in something, right? So it literally is helping us get to the root problem. It literally is helping you sleep naturally and get your body's algorithm back on track um oh you have the same kind as me um you also had no menopause symptoms so I didn't need it okay Carol Ann I'm so glad you said that because I kind of felt like so I'm two years alcohol free I finally figured out my night sweats by not eating too late at night like my um I haven't had like I I, I think I'm someone who just has a naturally fast metabolism so I'm you know 115 pounds right now I struggle to keep weight on um, I have eating disorders blah 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 <laughs> I've only dropped a couple things so far. Um, so I'm, I know that, but with that said, you always hear about women who are getting perimenopausal and menopause who put on that weight around their stomach. And so, I mean, I, I was still in the back of my mind. So when I started the wild yam cream, I was, I literally emailed the company. I was like, listen, 
I feel like my my hormones are actually pretty balanced other than the migraines and the cystic acne. So their suggestion was to start just once in the morning because um, I think you can do it twice a day. So I was just doing it once in the morning on my wrist or on my belly or like we're out, like an inner thigh. I'm gonna shut my door, you guys. I'm getting a little chilly now. Now that my now that my adrenaline has worn off, it's just funny going live, you know? It's just, I could end this at any time. It's I tell myself that, like, Susan, you're not... And everyone is so nice. Like, that's the thing. I've really lucked out during my lives. No one's making fun of my forehead. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Anyways, but <clears throat> so I was, I was worried about the, or not worried, but I was um, just interested or I don't know the word I'm looking for. Cautious? Anyways, so I just started using the wild yam cream just once a day. And I, tr I really found results. I always tell people to give it at least a month, but you gave it three months. You know, it's just a bummer. It's not for... Everything doesn't work for everyone, right? Like even like the ringing in the ear situation, I have to go back to that because so many people have ended up with that. I can't say the word. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, like I said, my sister has permanent hearing loss and it's from many reasons. There's not just one type. I've learned there's like many different types of this ringing in the ear. It can be in your brain. It can be in the eardrum and it doesn't even have to be the T word. It might just be something else, right? So people who are massaging that castor oil in and around, I mean, seriously, my comment section, if you go to my castor oil things account, it's so encouraging because, and even just wearing like, like my sister got um, fitted for um, a hearing aid, which is not really working. Okay. So wild yam can, can help with menopause symptoms. Yes. That's literally what it's for. I can't remember if it, there's what it says on here. Okay. Um, such risk. Or, okay. Wild yam cream to this product has not okay anyways i thought maybe i had a little description on here and i don't but yes it, it literally so the wild it has it has wild yam tea tea sorry you guys wild yam ch chast wake up susan wild yam chaste tree berries mango butter sweet almond castor oil and red clover you know that's cool the castor oil in there because the castor oil helps penetrate deep 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 into your body so it's probably helping it it smells so freaking good you have pulsative i'm surprised it even let you type that out carolyn okay i'm so glad you are that's the thing it might it might work you know what i mean like why not try it i mean my poor sister and she's not into pharmaceuticals she got vaccinated like so did my parents vax boosted did the whole thing like i can't save everyone literally i retired from doing hair because so my of um, so many of my clients have the injuries oh it just it's just Anyways, it's okay. I want. I just want to help as many people as I can. Anyways, um, so I I got this one just great comment about how they were using castor oil for a month. You know, they were she. I think a month and a half she was using the castor oil, but finding relief. And it's like, why not try? You know what I mean? Okay, this person says put castor oil on a panty liner or reusable nursing pad. Oh, they have a castor oil pack. So Amazon. Okay. Um, sorry. I, it kind of does annoy me when people, well, no, it's fine. Every comment helps. Um, I have many videos on the subject and everything in my Amazon storefront. Shmamazon, I meant to say. That's the other thing, you guys. If you ever are wondering about the things I'm talking about, there's a link above my videos on all three of my freaking accounts. Thank you for all the hearts. I love you. Um, and so you can find everything like on my Shmamazon storefront, blah, blah. Okay, this person says, are you kidding? My son has polyps in his nostril. Castor oil will heal it. Please say yes. We literally avoided surgery by doing castor oil in and around my son's sinuses. I have videos here. So I have, I have a lot of detailed videos about my son's sinusitis on this Susan Doing Susan Things account. Like if you go to my profile on this account, there are uh, playlists above my videos that, and the one is Castor Oil Love. So I do have more videos on there. But this person commented on my Castor Oil Things account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tag my Susan Doing Susan Things account and hopefully she can find those videos. Okay, I've had internal sinusitis for six months. It's driving me insane. I feel like I'm losing short-term memory. Oh, they must have meant the T word. Oh. So I'm just gonna say, I'm so sorry, exclamation point. 
I, you know, some, I don't know what to say to that, right? Like, I hope they give castor oil a try. I hope they, hope they try. Um, yes. Cat, well, I don't know if my wild yam cream is on there or not. You, let me go back to my live and, and let you look at it on my, um, my castor oil things account. Cause I, I, the cool thing about the wild yam cream and the spray, I think it's from like, I don't know the person personally, but I think it's just someone like me, like a, like a cool, cool. I'm cool. Like a person who, um, just started making it like a, you know, a mom or someone. So anyways, so, um, Jan star click on my castor oil things account and you can even do it while I'm live. It won't, it won't take you out of my live and then go to my showcase on there. It's, it's on, it's in there. That's, that's where, um, cause I don't think it's on shmammy. I, I think it's a, for someone who is just selling on TT, but not to say there isn't other ones on, um, sorry. I literally, you guys, it's so fun for me. If you tap that, oh, shit, shit, shit. Don't tap yourself out. If you tap the screen, this is a sec, I'm on my second phone, obviously a secondary account. And see how it's that heart is filling up over there? And you fill it up and you fill it up and then confetti will rain down and we'll get more viewers and everyone just, sorry, it's taking forever. It doesn't usually take that long. Okay, watch, watch the confetti rain down. Bleep! <laughs> I know. Thank you. I completely agree. I try and support people who are like making products, you know, on here. Right. Um, okay. So let's go back to my comment section. I definitely like pride myself on making sure that everyone's comments and questions or emails and things go answered. Like I want to make sure I, um, oh, and then this person wrote cheers. Okay. I'm going to give him another thumbs up. Again, you guys, um, every comment pushes the algorithm. So like if you ever come across my videos and just leave like a, hey, Susan, I know that it's just because you are helping me out. And I totally appreciate it. Okay. Oh, cool. This person says they put castor oil on their keloid on their eye and on their eyelid and it's gone. That is awesome. Um, another thing, I don't know, hopefully there's mostly women on here, but you know how you get those little milia and I guess you can get milia like down yonder. I had someone close to me tell me that they used castor oil down there for the milia and it was gone. So that's cool. Castor oil is also good for yeast infections. It's so funny how I'm whispering. Like I think like TikTok's not going to be, if like I yell it, TikTok's going to hear, but if I whisper it, maybe they won't. I just don't know certain things I'm allowed to talk about, but female issues down yonder. I mean, castor oil can, it, I mean, how I used to suffer from yeast infections. Um, and coconut oil is actually really good too. So I'm allergic to latex and think of like, and I was an avid obsessive worker outer. So it pretty much just tight lycra and then sweating. And so I would actually use coconut oil beforehand just as like a preventative. Um, but if you are in a full blown yeast infection and you can be at home, then I would just lather yourself up with uh, castor oil. Okay. Okay. I think I answered all my questions on my castor oil things account. So that account has 20,000 followers and it doesn't, I only, so here, I'll show you, but see, oh, I'll show you. See right there how it says community guidelines. I like so many videos get taken down, you guys. I mean, and ugh, it's, it's so, but the ones at the top the, with the T word and stuff, they're still up. So go and check me out over there too, if you're interested in mostly castor oil, but I am going to start doing um, some skincare and stuff over on that account too, just because. You know, I just retired from doing hair, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch to my Susan doing Susan things account, which is what we're on right now, and I'm gonna, oh no, okay. Now it says 198.8 again, thousand. So I wonder why, well, that makes me feel better. It was so weird waking up, because I, you know, obviously I wanna get to 200,000, how cool would that be? And I was so close, I mean, I've been getting so close to 200,000 and then this Susan doing Susan things account, I'm restricted. My showcase is restricted for 90 days and, and my videos were all getting flagged. So I had to stop posting videos because I was afraid the whole freaking account was going to go down. So yay, now it's back up. I would love to get to 200,000 followers. Okay. We got lots of comments on here because I think I forgot. Okay. Okay. This person is just wondering, um, I made a reply video with the answers, exclamation point. Um, I made a video about what I've been using on my legs and stuff. Cause like, you know, even like tapping your arms and tapping your thighs and tapping your legs are so good for you for like cellulite and boosting collagen and all that stuff. And so I've been using like emu oil and black seed oil to just help, you know, moisturize and all that stuff. Oops. 
Okay, this says, where do you get yours from? I told them, oh, so copper water bottles. I always end up talking about, guys have this wave of nausea. because I'm probably not used to talking at a mile a minute at five in the morning. It's 540. Copper water bottles are so good for your skin. They're so good for you know, elasticity. They're good for your immune system. They're good for anti-aging. And that the question on my comment section asked where I got it. I also have one in my castor oil things account. That's that I was just talking about. And also in my shmammy, my shmammy storefront. I actually, well, I used to have five and now we've lost oh well, no i think i used to have four now we've lost two mm, so annoying boys but um i always have two and i always keep it filled up with water that way in the morning you have as much copper in there as possible but it's just you know another nice way to get our minerals back in okay dang baseball lol <laughs> my friend um so I did a video on how to tie a tie. My husband did knows how to, he's always been our tie tire, but he learned this really easy technique. So it's like, I think it's my first video on this account other than the ones that are pinned. So if you need to tie a tie, my husband shows you how. Okay, this person just said, thank you. Just leaving them some hearts. Okay, done. Wow, so good. Okay, so funny. Okay, do, 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 do. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, another um, video I did was, um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, a video on activated charcoal. Does everyone know about activated charcoal? Like, it's kind of like new to me. Um, is it inside as well? Yes, the whole point of a copper water bottle is to make sure that, oh shit, is that your, oh my gosh, is that your copper's on the inside, right? So, um, so yes, very, it's very coppery on the inside. And the longer you keep your copper in the bottle, the more copper you will have. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, this person is laughing. Don't know why, but we'll just give some hearts. Um, I what, Another thing I learned is if you just leave emojis on somebody's videos, it thinks that you're a robot. So make sure that you always leave comments on people's videos. <laughs> okay, this person asked. Okay, that was person was asking if someone else's cyst went away. So what, what's everyone doing today? Happy Monday. I'm Susan for people that are just joining. 43 natural remedies. You know, I'm going to try and get on between 5 and 6.30 every morning. This person literally wrote, I don't love this on a video about how me and my son found salamanders. Too bad you left a comment. Now you're going to be seen even more. Actually, that doesn't really make sense in that month. You guys, what can I possibly reply to someone saying, I don't love this about an amazing video about me geeking out about us finding sal salamanders and now having salamander eggs in our aquarium. I mean, that is so exciting. And someone wrote, I don't love this. <laughs> I mean, every comment pushes the algorithm. I, I just, I mean, what, what is the point? Oh, I love it. It does, it does bring me joy though when people are morons. I'm sorry, it just does. When people make fun of my foreheads, my foreheads, <laughs> I just made fun of my own forehead. When people make fun of all my foreheads, it just like, you can't hurt me. When you go through an emotional breakdown rock bottom and the people around you hurt you so much, you're not gonna let internet people hurt you. <laughs> oh, our family loves it. See, that's so nice though, Brandy. I want to say like sucks to be you. <laughs> you want me to be nice. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. How are you? I'm trying to think of a snazzy reply comment to an idiot. Thank you for the heart. You guys, everyone just like, okay, pa power tap the screen real quick. Has ever, please let me know if everyone has power tap the screen and confetti rain down over my face. It's just fun. Come on, do it. Start your morning with a power tap. Um, I don't love this. I'm not sure why you took the time to leave a comment, but thank you for pushing the algorithm to the people that do. With a heart. <laughs> uh, people are so fucking weird. Okay, maybe your research should be watching Barbara video. Is that for me? Durr. Okay, that person doesn't get a reply because they can F off. Okay, how to use castor oil for sinuses. Okay. 
Okay. That, this is on my cast. No, this is on, what account am I on? I'm on my cast. Oh, getting sun ready for school. I took the day off. Oh, nice, Jen. I don't, you don't love my comment. Okay. Too bad for you. Um, oh, thank you. You're cute too. Um, that's fun. Well, how old are your kids, Jen? I have an 18 year old and a 15 year old and my, my 18 year old, um, he got in, actually it's like for the first time in our life, our 18 year old got in a little bit of trouble. It's, we've kind of lucked out, like almost made it and then he fucked up, but it's okay. Sorry. I'm swearing. Um, but so he has been, he's, I usually wake up my family with a foot rub. I live in the apartment above my garage and my family lives over in the house, which I know sounds crazy. And it's just kind of like a newer thing, but man, we love it. It's made our relationship so much stronger. Um, and I've always woken my kids up with foot rubs, but I maybe even more cause I live over, I don't know. But anyways, I wake my kids up with foot rubs every single morning. Oh no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's what you reply back to her. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get what you're saying. Um, so anyways, my, I'm hoping that my 18 year old is going to be waking up at 6am because his kind of punishment, if you will, I'm not big into like grounding. I've literally never checked my kids' cell phones, but, um, but he did get in some trouble. And so I'm having him get up at every morning at 6am and journal. That's my punishment to him. Like you need to write down how fucking thankful you are, how much you have, what, be, what version of yourself you want to be who, you know, so it's like, I've done that before with my younger son who got in trouble one time. Um, he got in trouble at school one time and needed like in-school suspension. And I'm like, and I'm not one of those moms who's like, he doesn't deserve it. I'm like, uh, you do the crime, you do the time. And I, his kind of punishment that day too was, um, hi. Oh, oh, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. God. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, I just had him write down like everything he was thankful for. Like this, cause that's, that's what you got to do. Um, okay. Let's see. I have videos in my playlist that you can check out. But essentially, you just massage castor oil into the area consistently until it's gone. Because that is the truth with sinuses. Like, I've done videos on my son's sinusitis, right? And so people were in my comment section saying, like, oh my gosh, my sinuses have cleared up. And I didn't even realize why. And it was because of the castor oil. Um, you work at school and it's so disheartening to see when parents don't back up teachers. Oh, I bet. Um, I think it's so awesome how you are. Oh, thank you, Jen. Yeah. I know, Michelle, I'm going to try and start getting on from like 5 to 6.30 every morning because I know for me, like if I need to tackle the day before the day tackles me and I've been in this very weird crossroads with TT with TikTok just because my account being restricted and it's like I'll make these great videos to help people and then they get taken down because they're helping people for free um well not for free for me I mean as if I am I, mean, I freaking retired to you know be able to do this but you guys I just I was really good with my money I've saved a year's worth of salary the only reason why I was able to retire from doing hair was because I need to make sure and then literally the day I retired this account got restricted for 90 days Everything happens for a reason. That's what I've learned. I'm not, I mean, of course I, I cried and stuff, but I wasn't like, oh, what am I going to do with my life? No, it must've been for a reason. So I made it, I made two other accounts. I don't know if that was, you know, kind of went into like, you know, what chaos mode and like, oh, I have to, you know, backup mode. But you know, I'm, I'm kind of on YouTube. I'm kind of on Insta, but I don't know. TT's my app and I don't know why I started saying all that, but sinuses, yeah, so just start massaging castor oil on your sinuses. Okay. <coughs> okay. Oh, funny. This person says, LOL. I have yet to do mine, but I've been putting it on my dog's cyst. <laughs> and it's getting smaller. If I was consistent, it would probably be gone. Truth. So true. That's funny. So that's the thing, too. When I first, so a year ago, when I was doing all my videos about castor oil, I mean, this big account got so big because I was one of the first people demonstrating castor oil. Like, we, of course, all knew about Barbara O'Neill, but no one was actually showing it. Um, you keep getting messages from me. Damn it. Michelle, will you just block or report that account? You guys, if you ever get a private, if I ever contact you, I'm not going to, okay? So, I mean, if you contact me, I will message you back, but I'm never going to reach out to people. I mean, I might, I don't know, but, um, okay. With the dogs. Oh, Michelle or Jen says yes with the dogs. Okay. So yeah, I was doing all these videos about castor oil and people were saying, can't asking me, can you use it on your dogs? The comment section, like this one comment had like 40 replies of people being like, yes, they, people are using it on their dogs, cataracts and cysts. 
fucking love it. And the cataracts, I mean, isn't that encouraging that you can use? People just drop the castor oil right inside their eyeballs. I just personally must massage it onto my eyelids. I love it. Um, okay, and I wrote so true on that one. That video right there was me showing how to do a sit, like if you had a cyst on your forehead, I was literally wrapping like a headband around me to show people. <laughs> they, that is why they took me down, was because I was helping so many people. And, and I know that. I mean, I know it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, right? Like the, the hardest thing, you guys, and I can't, it was when I was making these really detailed videos. And if you watch any of my videos, you see I have words on the screen. I, I mean, I, I spend hours on my editing and I don't know how to not do that. I can't upload a video that doesn't have ADHD memory. Like, because I, obviously I'm like, oh, I need everyone to know everything in one video. And so to work two hours on something and it just be deleted and it was good and it was so knowledgeable. And honestly, the one video was just me massaging and showing people what to do. But I, I just, Oh, it's, it's, it's just, but I just know everything happens for a reason and I'm not going to let me get me down and I saved my money and I'm going to just, you know, but, but coming on early. So I'm hoping that I'll just have this energy five, six 30 in the morning energy. Um, so I'm not really on any other, I'm kind of on platforms. I'm kind of on Insta and I'm kind of on you. If I say it, I'll get in trouble, but not really. And it's not like it's new stuff. So I should say that too. I'm just uploading videos of what I've already done. Psoriasis. Thank you. Okay. So psoriasis, there's so many. I could talk about psoriasis for like hours. I'm not even kidding. Okay. Eczema psoriasis. Let's talk internally. Parasite cleanse. 100%. 100% recommend parasite cleanse. Me and I had a really bad scalp psoriasis and both my kids had psoriasis. We no longer have it. Gone. Okay. So internally, um, anti-inflammatories, black seed oil, shilajit. So think about inflammation in the body. Anytime we have acne, psoriasis, I have a rash on my stomach. You guys, I, the, the reason why I have a rash on my stomach is because of the sugar I eat and the, probably the parasites in there. I'm actually doing another parasite cleanse coming up. For some reason, my entire parasite cleanse playlist is still up on this account. So if you just go to my profile, there's a whole bunch of playlists. I go like this because you have to swipe over. There's a whole bunch of playlists above my videos. So much in there. But um, if you're able to, I would look into that, Viva. Then topically, diluted apple cider vinegar and water. So I just have, well, I'm a hairstylist, so I have like just a tube, but they're in my Schmamazon storefront. There's a link above my videos that will take you to my Schmamazon storefront. Um, that has everything, everything in there, supplements, castor oil, everything. Um, fill, fill up a container of like three to four parts water to one part apple cider vinegar. You guys, this isn't just for psoriasis. I, this is for everything, hair, skin, um, the last thing I do in the shower, even when it's a hair wash day, which maybe today should be, I think all my sweat is dried in, um, rinse from, from head to toe that diluted apple cider vinegar. So also good for hemorrhoids, um, any skin conditions, even on your face. I know that apple cider vinegar sounds like what? It's so good and it's so good for your, um, the strength in your hair. Yes, apple cider vinegar. It has to be apple cider vinegar. Yes, I know, I know it sounds crazy, so good for you. And I've, I'm a retired hairstylist, 25 years. So this is professional advice, I promise. Um, so good for you. Look, I get so excited when I talk about this stuff. Um, uh, really good for dandruff. If you guys have any sort of itchy scalp, the, um, ap the diluted, now make sure it's diluted. Yes, diluted topically, apple cider vinegar. Here, let me go grab my thing, one second. Oh, ow, oh God, my foot's asleep. So get yourself some apple cider vinegar. Now you guys, the jury is out on the Briggs apple cider vinegar. I heard Bill Gates got involved in Katy Perry and that it wasn't good anymore. I'm not gonna throw it away, but I'm, use, I'm looking into other brands. Oh, hi Sean, how are you? Good to see you. So I'm talking about psoriasis right now. So get yourself apple cider vinegar and one of, a container like this. This one's nice because it has the spout so you can actually put it on your scalp. So I do, I and literally I'm just in the shower and I fill it up like that far with water and then I just, bloop, my apple cider vinegar, you guys. And you can also do a cup or two of apple cider vinegar in your bath. My client, um, I always do this, don't I? I get, my client, my client's husband, Ron, um, he started putting apple cider. He had the worst, 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 worst psoriasis. Like my client was just like, Susan, it's so bad. And I'm like, oh my gosh, have him do this. Um, he also started taking black seed oil, which I have those in my um, castor oil things 
account. Um, anyways, but he started putting it in his bath water and he is, it's gone. And so that is another great thing to do. Um, and like I said, it's good for your hair. I actually put it in my hair and, and put my hair back a little bit and then do my whole body and let it sit in my hair. So I know it sounds crazy. Professional uh, person talking here, I promise. Um, I, okay, then, uh, then I'll get there. Okay, and then on your thigh, um, castor oil on its own for psoriasis or castor oil with lavender, you guys. Um, on this account, I think some, one of my top pinned videos is my castor oil concoctions video it's still up i don't know how um but if you do about a tablespoon of castor oil and 10 drops of your essential oil of choice so essential oils um you know essential oils and castor oil there's so many concoctions you can do but specifically for psoriasis the lavender is so nice and i would my kids their psoriasis patches were kind of in their hot spots which is super common you know kind of in your yeah you behind your knees um yeah armpits behind the knees and kind of you know in your hot spot areas. And so just dabbing castor oil and lavender, instant relief. Um, but psoriasis and eczema is definitely a internal, it is, it is what we, it's thing. I am back. I know Erica. Hi. Yes. I'm going to try and get on every morning in my time, five to six 30. And I'm going to really, you guys, my, my plan is to get this, just me energized and to start making videos again. That's, that's what I want to do. But you know, you, I mean, you have to understand how I feel when I, when I work so hard on a video and then it just goes away and you're like, oh my gosh, that it just, it, it's hard. It's hard. Like I literally, you guys, I made the best video about charcoal in my opinion. Um, I think, oh, it's five, 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 five here. Um, I just feel like, you know, there's so many health benefits of charcoal and I, I went to upload it on my castor oil things account. So it would get more action and I chickened out and I uploaded it on my Susan's favorite things account where it's just kind of sitting there. Um, I did need this time away, you know, and plus you guys, there's been so much stuff going on as please is everyone else going through like major shit right now. Like I have been emotionally flipped upside down again. So last year I went through an emotional breakdown. Fam our family went through everything. Me and my husband, like I was one foot out the door, like, and now we've, we're so strong and we made it and we're so happy and life is so good. And then all of a sudden, like shit's going on with my older son. Shit's going on with my younger son, which means shit's going on with me. I, I'm a true reflection of my family. Their mood is my mood. I will not get on. I cannot post. I cannot do anything. If I am, if anything is going on in my children's lives and in my husband too, but my husband, he's, he's very stoic. He's very, you know, he, his life is perfect. It goes like this. If I'm unbalanced, that's when he gets a little, that's when he's unbalanced. I, you know, I make sure everyone's emotional needs are met. I mentioned earlier, I wake my family up with a foot rub. That is literally for my benefit too. I need everyone to leave this house happy. And I need everyone to know that when they come back to this house, it's their home base. It is their safe place. And they do. So it's, it's, and then I, I, I hate to mention it, but my dog passed away too. It's almost been a year. Very, it's very tragically. And I am someone who I like to massage. I can almost feel, I can almost feel it when I'm massaging my family awake. I, I just, but anyway, so, I, but, but we've been going through so much. My emotions have just been really tested, but I just feel like, okay, I don't know. I don't want to say bring it, <laughs> don't bring it, but I can handle it. I know that me and my family now, because we've been through so much, we can handle it. We will get through this hard time, but I need to let myself, I need to let myself sit on my couch and you know watch watch fun shows and just and just and be because I, ha I have put in so much um thank you it is a beautiful way to wake up my kids and you know and even my husband too like because because I live separately now like I we legit sleep separately and you guys my hair this is from night sweats that's how curly when I first started sleeping separately it was because my night sweats were so bad I have them all under control now last night was complete sabotage ice cream cookies Cinco de Mayo. And then I went to bed at like 7.30 without metabolizing. So I sweat my brains out. But I thoroughly enjoy waking up my husband. I usually go over there. So my my older son is a little bit in trouble right now, which is like the first time in our lives. Not even kidding. Golden child has been knocked off his pedestal. It's good. No one's perfect. It was nice to know that before he leaves for college. This was a life lesson. It needed to happen at my expense. The moms always get the brunt of it, right? So he didn't get woken up with a foot rub lately because I'm pissed at him, right? But he's been getting up early and I'm, my punishment to him was you need to get up and journal and write how thankful you are and write the type of person you want to be and who you are. So 
anyway, we should all be doing that, right? Like wake up in the morning, like, I am so happy. I'm so blessed. I, how good can this day get? I do do that. Actually. I'm really good at talking out loud now. And it's because I have this apartment. It's because I can talk out loud in my apartment. Right. Um, but I, but it's okay. So I wake my, I usually wake my older son up and then I go upstairs and wake my husband up. And the cute thing about my husband is that he can like hear me coming and then he'll just really quietly kind of work his foot out from under the sheets. It's just, I don't know. It just makes me happy. And then he's someone who like, like my kids are kind of like dead to the world until they're really awake where my husband, he like, Oh yeah, thank you. Like he'll give me some, but my, okay. Then my, my younger son, he gets, he gets the creme de la creme. So once my older son leaves and my husband leaves, I'm literally like, you know, cause once everyone leaves the house, I'm like freedom. I literally yell freedom when everyone leaves my house. You know, you're, if you're a mom, you know. Um, but my younger son, especially if I'm going through something, if I'm working something out in my brain, that kid will get massaged. And I swear to you, I can feel the way it feels. When I'm pulling on their legs, I can feel it in my own body. So I get just as much benefit. Um, I don't have any guilt that I live over here, by the way, like zero. My family is so happy that I have this space for myself. It has changed our entire life, me being truly happy and just having this space. But with that said, I need to be over in my main house when they're home. And you know, they need to see their mom. They need to see like the presence, right? So any husky, that's my story. Okay. Um, I have yet to do mine, but putting it on my dog. Wait, we, we already read that one. Okay. Copper on a video that mentioned you copper, da, 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 da. Which castor oil brand do you recommend? Okay. This one's going to be kind of hard. Okay. I am loving Rejuve Naturals, exclamation point. There is a link above my videos that will take you to my, I'm just gonna write it out. Oops, well, I accidentally pressed enter, but that's okay. So yeah, if you're interested, like there's a link above my videos that will take you to so many discounts on grounding mats, uh, uh, pictures, my supplements, of course, Shmamazon, um, God, my happy juice I drink. Like, there's so many. It's so fun to go on people's link trees. Do you, have you guys done that before? TikTok shop was a thing. Um, it, like, I loved used to going to people's, especially if you trusted the person. Like, I've done so much research. Like, you know, you know that I'm not, I would never recommend anything that didn't work because I would be devastated if someone came, af came after me and said, Susan! <laughs> okay. Oh, someone says, that's a great idea. And your baby looks just like you, mama. Hope you had a blast looking so handsome. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Anita, exclamation point. I cannot believe the relationships I've made on here and I don't actually know the people. Have you experienced kids with anxiety that have trouble eating? Oh, absolutely. And you know what? I'm so glad you brought this up because I could go on a rabbit hole with Wi-Fi and like electronics forever. So a big thing that we did in our house and even before when my son had sinus surgery or he didn't have, we avoided sinus surgery, um, he had, he had lost his sense of taste and smell. Like we, we, he was going through some major stuff. We finally moved the Wi-Fi out of the house. This is so unbelievably dumb to me that I even had the Wi-Fi. It was in his bedroom, by the way, you guys, it's, it, it's such common sense to me. And I can't believe I didn't think about it sooner. So everything that we have, every electronic that we have is admitting EMFs, electric magnetic fields. And it's just, it is what it is. And there's nothing that we can, we have to have it around us, right? And we have to have Wi-Fi. But if you could move your Wi-Fi out of your house or away from your main living area, um, you will see if you have any sort of irritability, especially in our kids, irritability, um, nausea, just general sullenness, that's maybe, you know, it might be typical for a teenager, but also why? It shouldn't be. Not if you're talking about things, not if you're, like, I'm not allowing my kids to be this sullen, slam the door. No, absolutely not fucking happening. So my younger son especially, and even my older son with a sense of smell, there were just things going on in, my, in our house that I was like, this shouldn't be happening. We take good supplements. We take things for stress and anxiety, just naturally. I mean, I shouldn't say we take it for that reason, but when you take natural supplements, you know, it's helping one, th it, you, you're taking it to help one thing, it's actually helping all these other things opposite when you take a pharmaceutical is putting a band-aid on one thing and then it's hurting all these other things like your liver and your heart. Anyways, um, so I would so recommend 
getting the Wi-Fi out of your house and just getting like a Wi-Fi like um, router. And then I have my entire house. I have EMF protectors all over my house and I have shungite stone. Sorry, I'm trying to get protectors on your phone. Get, there's this stone called shungite and it's not woo woo crystal. It's literally made of 98% carbon. It actually, I'm wearing it. All of our family wears shungite. If you have allergies, my son wears a necklace. Like every time they play Xbox or around anything, and oh, there's plugins that you can do. So if you go to my Shmamazon storefront, the link above my videos, I have an entire EMF section. There's a plugin that you can do that helps absorb the EMFs. I have a plugin in my husband's office, every single one of my kids' bedrooms. They're like $100. I don't care. Our entire, the entire mood of our house improved. Skin conditions, irritability. There's so many factors from having all these electronics around us all the time. And it is common sense, right? Like how could it not be? Like there's electrodes, like, oh my gosh, you guys, I used to wear a Fitbit all the time. I used to be obsessed with having my earbuds in all the time. Like what are we doing to our brains? However, let me take a sip. How many times have I done that? But I mean, there are definitely things that we can do to protect ourselves. We're not gonna not use our phones. We're not gonna not have Wi-Fi. But I am, I'm telling you guys, if you have any sort of irritability or skin or, anyways, let me go grab my thing, just one second, because I just wanna show you. <laughs> Sorry if I showed you my butt crack. Oh, 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 where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, right here. So like something like, um, sorry, something like this, it's, it's just a big old thing of shungite, and I don't even know. It might be $80. I'm not even sure. But what I have, and I'm actually a very frugal person. I know I'm just spewing out, like, I'm extremely frugal. I would, I would go without to make sure that my kids have these certain stones and these certain protection things. And, I mean, I literally, you guys, I have these bracelets on. I probably, I might start my week out. Well, nah, that's, that's a complete exaggeration. I've maybe given away four. So like I've, I keep replenishing these bracelets because I'll be out talking to someone and I'll have to give them a bracelet because it, it, and oh my gosh, you guys, I hope I don't lose people when I say this, but, um, you know, I dealt, I was someone who dealt with hemorrhoids for like seven freaking months and I tried all the, oh, the apple cider vinegar rinse is good for that too, but literally it helps with pain. So I took a stone. Oh, I should go show you that too. It, it, they come in these in a pack of stones. They come shungai comes in a whole bunch of different forms, but it also just comes in raw stone. And I seriously just put the stone right there. My son who broke his wrist. We put made sure to have shungai around his wrist. Yeah. So I put depending on how big it is. Hold on. Let me go grab one more thing. One more thing. <coughs> okay. So you can get, oh, you know what? I should go get, so these, it, it, they also come like in packages. <laughs> They'll come like this too. Oh, you guys, you know what else? This, okay, this stone is from Russia. It's their, they, it's what Russia uses for their water purification. Like it's legit. It is not, like these are all crystal woo woo. I believe in my crystal woo woo. This is legit 98% carbon. Oh, and then, uh, so. So yeah, it comes, they'll come in packages. Like I said, if you go here, let me just show you how to get there because, um, and okay, this is another like true story. I just, I'm obsessed with Shungite. Plus it's cool. I like that it's black. Okay, so my older son, the one with the sinuses, the one with all those issues, the allergies and whatnot, he was wearing this really cool black Shungite stone. Ugh, I gotta go get that too. Um, you do, Kim? I love it. I just got that pyramid. That's my first one. Cause I was, um, I was so obsessed with the jewelry and stuff, but I love the, whoops. Um, okay, so these, this necklace, legit, we have four of them, because this is what my son would wear. He, he would wear this necklace, even while he was playing baseball, but they kept breaking. So these have now been strategic, they're, they're not wearable, I just kind of, I keep them by my bed. But, um, so, so he was wearing this, and then every single time, it would break, every single time. I would know because in the morning I could hear him, his congestion. And I'd be like, what happened to your necklace? And he's like, it broke. Isn't that, I mean, so I, I, I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating like this stone. Oh, good morning, Tracy. So if you guys are interested in Shungai, I mean, it's something that I honestly wish I made a big commission off of. I don't, if you just go to Shmamazon, it's in my storefront. I make like 1% commission. Um, 
But nonetheless, I want everyone to have it. So let me just show you how to get there. Okay, so right now, okay, so we're on my Susan doing Susan things account, right? So right there, there's that link. Leap. It'll take you to my link tree. And then if you just, oh shit, you guys. If you scroll down, right there is my shmammy. And then everything is in here, you guys, like the castor oil, da, 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 da. But if you go all the way down, right there, I have an entire list of everything we have in the house. And so, oh, so the four pack, it comes in a four pack of pyramids. So I have the pyramids in every house, of course the bracelets. This is in the necklace my son is wearing. Oh my God, that's the necklace my son wears now. Anyways, oh, and I also wear a copper necklace. Okay, then that's the plug-in. We have plugins in every room too, like even in my husband's office, because we cannot avoid it. So it's so funny here, I, I retire from, from doing hair. It's getting bright outside and my birds are out. I retire from doing hair and um, there's my birdies. Everyone's, oh, you can't really see anything right now, it's all rainy. Because, so I retire from doing hair because the chemicals and the toxins and whatnot. And then I go to literally holding a phone all day long and electron, you know, and like at the end of the day, I could like feel, I swear, the radiation in my hands. So I make sure to keep myself, um, oh, thank you. Yeah. The, so the plug-in is for the same thing. It just absorbs the EMFs. And I have, you guys, I have an EMF detector, like a radar thing. Xbox and whatnot my son's bedroom so my son's bedroom was not only kind of it's pretty small he has a big ass freaking TV um I, his Xbox is in that room it's common sense right I mean we all agree now right like and then my husband he works in an office with the and like those computer screens like how can it not be we shouldn't be having electric magnetic fields all around us all the time it's it's not good so anyways but we are we are living proof that this stone it and again it's not crystal woo woo it's and like i said earlier russia uses it for their water purification Ooh, let me go show you one more thing i have so you can put shungite it's water purification so i put it in the bottom of all my, I mean this, so this epic water pitcher is amazing. Oh, you guys, 20% off. If you want 20% off, I'm actually getting one for under my sink in the house, a whole water. Oh, thank you, Janelle, I love it, so sweet. Yeah, if you guys give those heart me's up there, it just pushes out the algorithm and it just, well, makes me so happy. But um, yeah, 20% off, this is in my linkity link. But the, you can put shungite in water and it it purifies it. And like I said, Rush has been doing it for years. Um. Isn't that interesting? And they have, I think Russia even has like shungite like spas and things like that. So there's just, there's definitely ways that we can protect ourselves that we just, you have that water filter. Do you have the one that's under the sink? Um, God, game changer. So we are on, you know, city water or whatever. And so there's probably, there's chlorine and fluoride and blah, blah, blah. And we all know, I mean, this is terrible for us. So I have always been, you don't have it yet. Well, it's great. I, I, I do, it changes your water pressure a little bit, Jan Janelle, but um, so worth it. So I, now this water pitcher, I used this singular water pitcher, this specific one. Now I have two in my main house for mac and cheese, pastas. Like it fills up pretty quick, but I was so obsessed with, you know, obviously like our our uh, skin is our biggest organ so what goes on it what goes in it so anyways um i'm this water pitcher is so is so great and then we got the one for under the sink it is so nice to be able to just turn hi sherry um oh i'm sorry yes please remind me okay where did i get the water bottle oh wait is that what i meant you guys if i miss your comment just say it again because obviously i'm adhd um Okay, oh, the copper water bottle is in my shmammy. My sham, my shmam is on storefront. But it's also in my showcase. Um, here, let me get my castor oil things account going on here again. Um, oh shoot. But da da da. Sorry. And then I also have um, like all my, all my on my Susan doing Susan things account. I even have like um, great water in my shmamazon. Oh, good morning, Big Tommy. How are you? Did we, we were helping you out yesterday, right? I think I talked about you to my husband. You missed my comment. Yes, okay, but Sherry, what was your comment? Do, do, do. Oh, Hannah, I want to try, I'm going to. Oh, gosh, yeah, you're gonna have your, 
Yeah, have your, and there's a whole bunch of different designs of the Shungite stone. Oh, my husband just wears a bracelet that's like, um, not cloth, like a knit bracelet. Okay, I'm trying to get to my main account here. I'm live. Okay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to leave hearts down here. Make sure... Oh, sorry, it made me just say I got a little got a little trouble there. Make sure you're... Okay, okay, good morning. Okay, so make sure you guys are... Click on my castor oil things head. And even if I'm live, it won't, it won't take you out. And make sure you're following me there. Also, oh, oh, if I like Arnica tablets, yes. Oh my gosh, Sherry. Um, oh, I just scared so many birds away. That was so funny. Um, okay, so anyways, go to my castor oil things account. Everything is in there. The yam cream, the magnesium spray, the um, castor oil, everything that we were talking about. And then, yes, you guys, has you guys heard about internal Arnica? Thank you, dear. Um, big Tommy, thank you. Um, have you guys heard about internal Arnica? So even, even doctors will recommend internal Arnica. My son just, it's such a bummer. It's senior year of baseball season and he went out for a diving catch, caught it, collided with a freaking teammate, ball flew out and he just, his thumb went, anyways, jammed his thumb, instant castor oil packs and then internal Arnica three days a week. The internal Arnica, it helps with the bruising inflammation and it actually, I mean, like I said, even doctors recommend it. I'm not a big fan of doctors these days. I'm hardening my own screen. Okay, so make sure that you guys, yeah, are following on there. I was gonna do my whole skincare this morning and now I'm kind of running out of time. And have you guys heard about these? Do I still want to? How much time do I have? I need to, I'm probably gonna get off at six. Oh, what time do I wanna get off? Don't pick. See, I was just gonna start picking in front of you guys. I'm healing my entire chin right now and so i've been doing um but is it just for general aches and pains and stiffness is what sherry oh arnica oh so i mean arnica topically can definitely help with aches and pains and stiffness taking arnica you know i don't even know about taking arnica as a daily supplement but nonetheless go you need to get some black seed oil so sherry black seed oil and um like Shilajit, especially black seed oil, it's so good with, for inflammation in the body. So I would almost, I would recommend, isn't that funny? I'm not sure. I think I would recommend, it's kind of my experience, like things like Arnica and oregano oil and things like that, you only want to take when you have the symptom that way it's you're not um getting used to it you know what i mean but i'm, I'm actually not sure about arnica daily for a supplement I, I don't see why not but i literally have never looked into it um but i do love i mean black seed oil is something that i like recommend to literally everyone around me especially if like asthma is going around you know same with that ringing in the ear is going around um i feel like everyone would benefit from taking black seed oil and i do have it on my account i thought i was gonna what was i looking at on that account though remember okay so if it's six what should I do should I do my you know what maybe I won't do my skincare because I want so have you guys heard about these things I'll just talk about them real quick but I need to make a video about it so maybe I'll wait to do it later these are freaking okay these are the the Kojic and I've only found them on TikTok they're not in my shmammy they're like TT exclusive they are freaking um they're Kojic acid and turmeric cleansing pads so one side is, is exfoliated and the other side is like soft and you literally they get all but so uh foamy and you exfoliate 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 for a minute turn it around to the other side for two minutes it's so good for lightening brightening any sort of acne uh, marks i've been so unbelievably stressed out these last this last month has been i mean it's just you guys i've been flipped upside down i'm not even kidding like Oh my God. But so my skin's broken out and also I've been eating shitty. It's, you know, we are what we eat. We are what we eat. We are what we tell ourselves and we are stronger than we think. I used to be my, my little catchphrase and I would do all these videos. Anyways, my girlfriend Shan, which I don't think she's on here, but if she is, I want everyone to please follow her. Um, she's the one who told me about these. I actually legit have turmeric. Oh, I have a little squirrel. I'm sorry. Um, I legit have turmeric, like powdered turmeric in my shower because I do like, oh, you guys, raw honey, like honey face masks. Honey is your best friend. If you have allergies internally, good for your immune system, good for your cholesterol. I mean, 
honey, organic local honey is so unbelievably good for you for so many reasons, but also for your skin. So I keep honey, baking soda. Well, baking soda I use like for my um, body wash, just baking soda and apple cider vinegar to rinse it all away with diluted. But um, I have turmeric in there because it is so good for the mark. So I am someone sit right here. I am a picker. Um, and so it's not even that I get them. It's that I, I will spend I, self soothing. I will spend an hour. I mean, it, and my jaw literally is out of place because I get so in there. Um, you're trying to get rid of inflammation. Shall it, Sherry, please look into black seed oil. Um, if you go to my hippie health playlist, I talk, or even my grounding, get happy playlist. Grounding is so good with inflammation too. If you guys um, like have a grounding mat, if you can't get outside, like putting your feet on the ground for like five to 10 minutes a day, legit helps pain, inflammation, stress, anxiety, immune system. Like, and like today is freaking raining, right? So I will have my, my, my grounding mat here. I'll just show you. I'll just show you. It's bright enough. Now I can take that down. I always have my grounding mat plugged in like always here. Let me uh, flip you around. It's all rainy out today. So I'm not going to go outside and ground. So look right there. I will always keep my grounding mat plugged in and it's just like a home base for me. And I love it. And that one, actually I have, um, 15%. There's a coupon on that too. You guys, I have coupons on literally everything. So if you're curious, um, and I have, I have videos about grounding mats too, if you can't get outside, but yeah, there's a lot of ways that we can get rid of the pain and inflammation you know, in our bodies. Okay. Oh, sorry. Anyways, but the face pads. So you just massage, massage, massage. And so I'm using these consistently for 30 days. They're so good. Um, oh, for sciatica. Okay. Yes. Um, Sherry, I would love for you to read the book. I want everyone to write this down, read the book, healing back pain, H E A L I N G healing back pain by Dr. Sarno. I am someone who has been in chronic pain my entire life. I, as a child, had headaches at, you know, it, it, and, and legit pain my entire, like, um, in high school, I had back pain, I, I, neck pain, and then being a hairstylist, I've always had neck pain, and, and I was always justified because I was a hairstylist, right? Or like, hip pain, I've always had an injury. I'm something who, I was someone, and I say it very much past tense, I'm someone who used to have something always a little bit wrong with me. It was a joke. In my entire life, I've always had something a little bit wrong with me. So, I go through my emotional rock bottom breakdown, I stop drinking, I am so happy, I am Susan Hear Me Roar, and last year, baseball season, I start driving to the games, severe hip pain, severe. And I'm like, why? I'm not working out excessively. I'm not doing anything. I'm just stretching and being so nice to my body. Um, I'm sorry, watery. So good to see you too, Kelly. Okay, my mom has been, okay, sorry, soon to cure watery eyes. I'm not too sure about watery eyes. Let me get back to that. But okay, so healing back pain by Dr. Sarno. So I was having this chronic hip pain and I'm like, there's no way I should have hip pain. I went to my acup, I love acupuncture. I went to my acupuncturist and he was, he kind of alluded to like, are you sure it's not something else? Like something in my head. And I'm like, I agree with you, but, but what do you, what do you do? How do you, how do you get rid of it? So anyways, I had done a client that next day. Um, and she, and I told her, I'm like, God, Jill, I have this like hip pain. I can't get rid of. She's like, Oh my God, I was going through the same thing. And we're both saying like, there's nothing going on in our lives physically. Like we're not hardcore working out. There's no reason. Now we both have had some stress in our lives. She's the one who told me about that book. You guys, the book is three hours long if you listen to it on Audible. It's all about repressed emotions and how our body is, is saying, hi, you have not worked on something. We, you need, we're gonna make you, we're gonna give you some pain until you work on these emotions. I had hemorrhoids for seven months before I read that book. It was all related. The hip pain, gone in three days you guys I was doing overnight castor oil packs I already do all. I mean I was doing all the things I already know that book changed my life I've not had pain since reading that book that's also in my Amazon storefront and um, that's me right now hip pain always brandy is repressed trauma from your childhood no I'm kidding um, but it could be <coughs> I had repressed anger and repressed childhood from or um, from my childhood you guys I had a great childhood. I love my parents. However, I'm 43. They didn't know how to parent. I had, I'm the strong personality. My mom, okay, this is my example. If I take a personality quiz, if I take a quiz and the answers are one strongly agree or 10 strongly disagree, my answers are one or 10. 
my husband and my mom, their answers are like four, five, six. They're, they're kind of like, mm. so to have a mom, uh, healing back pain is the book. H E A L I N G back pain. That's the book. Um, yeah. And if your child, okay. My childhood was rough in the sense where I had major shit happen and I would just go to my room by myself. I didn't know my mom never you know, said, Susan, what's going on? I know never. It was, she never, it, and I don't blame her. My mom is amazing. She did the best that she could with what she knew. She had a really hard childhood. So did my dad. So I'm not going to blame them for not knowing how to parent this very stressed out spirited child. She did the best she could. She has never had these strong emotions. How the hell would she know how to, to parent me? I, I love my parents. My mom is my literally my best friend. We had the best day together yesterday. It's probably a good thing that she didn't have such a strong personality. Could you imagine if we were like both freaking out? So anyways, what I started doing, Brandy, is I just started saying like, I release all negative energy from my past. Anything that happened in my past, I, I'm done. It's made me who I am. I am now the strong, happy person and I can go through anything. Bring it. Like I have been through so fucking much this last few years. I can't even like since the pan since before the pandemic, but if you made it through the pandemic unscathed, I live in Washington state and we chose not to get vaccinated. I had clients telling me that I was like, you just need to do what's right for your children. My poor son was being told he was murdered. I mean, it's just what we went through. Oh my gosh. And so, and so it's just, there's repressed anger that we hold on to and we don't even mean to. And like I keep saying, like me and my mom have never been better, but I, once I started saying out loud, like I forgive my, I, I forgive anything that might've happened. My parents were doing the best they could. They didn't know any better. I mean, right? So I don't know, it's, it's hard. I mean, and, and I haven't had, I didn't have like, I didn't have major things happen in my child. I mean, we had a house fire and we had things, but I don't have major trauma other than it's traumatic to me when my emotional, when my feelings aren't being heard. And in my own house for the longest time, that's kind of how it was. Like, I'm a woman, I'm a strong personality. And I just, anyways, your whole family's against it. Good, I'm glad that they are. You know, we were very much the minority and it, it was hard. It was a hard time to live. My kids couldn't, couldn't come to our house. I mean, I couldn't go to certain restaurants, the spa I used to go to, nope. I mean, it's unreal what we all went through. Um, I really saw that negative energy. It made me who I am. I'm better because of it. I am, I am so strong now. I, you guys, my clients would come in and we're masked and da da da, and they would start talking about the vaccine or something, and my fight or flight response would go off because I was so, I knew it wasn't right for our family, and I knew I had a feeling what was going to happen, and now it all has, but. It, it was just too heartbreaking. And so my fight or flight response was so, my fight or flight response was getting triggered at a moment's notice. And so now it's, I am, I am balanced. And I think I'm balanced because of all the work I've done mentally, just talking out loud. And you know, when you start this journey of like getting out of depression, I mean, I was drinking every morning to start my day. I was so depressed, giving to everyone. I'm a giver, givers give, takers take. I'm a people pleaser. Like I want everyone to like me. And then you start realizing, well, why wouldn't they like me? Why, why was I trying so hard when I'm, I'm such a nice person and I give to everyone. And what was I so fucking insecure about? Like, but you know, I, I lived in a house where people were not praising me. Like my mom, my sister, my husband, I've had these major people in my life that I've always tried to get attention from. I get plenty of attention from you guys. Like I get these great comments, but meanwhile, I'm like, Matt, did you, did you see how I did today? Isn't that funny? So I'm learning how to just love myself. I do love myself, finally. I just, I'm a hoot, right? And so it's fun to have people who say to me like, oh, I love your energy or you're so fun. And you know, anyways, so this app has like definitely been so good for me. <laughs> okay, my darlings, I do not wanna get off right now, but I really need to go start my foot rubs, right? So I'm gonna be on every morning from five to 6.30. Um, please make sure you're following me up there. Um, please make sure you are following me down here on this account. And actually, I mean, I'm just going to get, I'm just going to ask a favor. It, I asked a favor yesterday and it didn't work. No one did it, but that's okay. I'll just ask again. Um, I, because like I said, I retired and so I'm, you know, this is my income. Um, I was wondering if you guys wouldn't mind. I have a third account, Susan's favorite things. Um, and I just, and the only reason why I have it is because my other main accounts were getting restricted because I'm talking about natural remedies. 
Um, and so I was wondering if you guys wouldn't mind going to my, oh, I'm gonna tap, so here, I'm gonna leave some hearts right here. If you guys wouldn't mind following me on the Susan's Favorite Things account, I did the best video about charcoal and I want everyone to know about charcoal and I want everyone to see it. So if, if you have time today, if you could go to my Susan's Favorite Things account, watch, it's like my second video. There's not a ton of videos on this account. Watch it, repost it, leave a comment. Hey Susan, I'm just doing this because you asked. <laughs> um, and then of course get charcoal because charcoal is so incredible. Like if you call poison control, they will say, do you have charcoal in the house? Plus you can use it like in face masks. I think I might do a video about that today, like honey and charcoal face mask. So that's what I'm thinking. So anyways, will everyone be on tomorrow? I'll see you all tomorrow. And if anybody wants me to follow them back, I'm like all for it. Stacy, thank you for joining. Okay, after using your product, I was able to get back in my house. Funny. Okay, so you guys, I am going to, oh, I hate leaving with these many people in here. But I gotta go do foot rubs. Gotta go wake up my family. Look, I'm just like lollygagging. I have one more minute. Okay, well, I hope everyone found benefit this morning. I will be on tomorrow. I hope everyone can join me tomorrow. You know, maybe I'll come on later too, but um, I hate getting up. Everyone that's just joining, I'm actually getting off. Thank you, Tiff. Oh, thanks for the comment, Tiff. Hey, 7,000 likes. That's pretty good. Oh, shoot, Daisy. Um, well, okay, Arnica. So, yeah, Arnica oil or Arnica tablets. Really good for like if you... Oh, Alexa, off. That's my alarm. Um, so, yeah, I, I wholeheartedly... Alexa. Alexa, off. 55 degrees today in Washington with showers. Um, yes, Arnica is great. I, I don't know about taking it daily as a supplement. I don't see why not, but I kind of would use it for like if you have an injury or a surgery, right? Okay, you guys, I'm going to take off. I love you. Thank you so much. I'll be on tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. my time. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Make sure you're following. Oh, it's 5 a.m. tomorrow, my time. And then you guys come with questions ready. Like literally, like allergies, strep throat. I mean, I am a natural remedies galore. So see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and turn on your notifications. I think too. Like I think if you push my name, there's a bell that you can turn on. So then you'll know. Thank you, Brandy. You have a good day too, you guys. Okay. Love, 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 love.